everyone and welcome to our Japanese garden escape. I'm Teresa and today I will show you how we prune this tree here and how we clean the dead branches out. Uh, this tree grows right next to our pathway that leads from our car park on that side to our house. And we planted this tree about maybe two years ago. This is an eastern red cedar, also known as red juniper. It has, I think, grown in quite well. Usually when we plant new trees and new shrubs, we leave them alone for one to two years before we do any pruning uh, on them. I just feel it is right to give them a bit of time to get used to the new environment and to get used to being out of the pot. So what we're going to do today on this tree, we will first clean this tree out. You can see it has a lot of dead branches here down at the bottom, which is normal. Then it has here at the older um, part of the branch, some dead little uh, twigs. Normally they just come off. If we can't just get them off, then we will just use uh, our secateurs. Then uh, once this is done and this is all cleaned out, then we have a clear picture of what is left, what is a uh, healthy growth. And then we'll also prune this tree a little bit. We have planted this tree right next to and actually under our oak tree, which is above me, so all the branches, and also are right next to our big spruces, which you can see in the background. And so this is why we want to keep this tree small and not let it grow big, because this grows you know, to a proper big size tree, but this is not what we want to achieve here. So this is why we're going to be pruning the top a little bit later on, and also some of these branches, because like this one here, for example, you can see it grows into the pathway. This is quite nice but we don't really want it to grow any further into the pathway so we want to keep that compact also with these types of trees when you let them grow out too long like this one here you can see that the branch here doesn't have any new shoots and when you uh, start cutting off the, the last bit here so the new growth then this encourages new growth here back on the branch again so this is what we're trying to to do today and i will show you how i do that we will start to cut the dead branches off first that's the first step before we prune the tree so i'm just starting at the bottom here uh, i cut the branches always very close to the actual trunk so that can heal again we will just keep cutting the dead branches and we'll work our way just up the trunks and whatever we see that doesn't grow at all, like this here, we just cut very close to the trunk and then we'll start with the pruning later on. We'll just finish this little area here. I'll keep cutting whilst talking. Uh, I do find with these types of cedars or junipers that cleaning them out is actually done best in springtime because I normally clean my pine trees in autumn time and I'm gonna show you that as well. But I find with these cedars that the, the dried shoots uh, are still too attached in autumn. And this is why I cleaned these out in springtime because they just come off easily. As you can see here, you can basically just pull it off and this makes it really, really uh, easy and fast to clean. Okay, so now we're done around here at the bottom part. And now I will uh, just finish this bit here and then I will grab my ladder and do the top bit and also start pruning. I've cleaned the tree as far as I can reach. Now it's time for my ladder. 
This is an actual Japanese ladder, so this is used really by Japanese gardeners in Japan. I was a bit skeptical first time around uh, before I ordered this ladder because it's a tripod ladder, so it has only three legs. However, I find for me this works really well because this is a very stable ladder. It has a really wide base here and the leg at the back you can actually adjust in height. Uh, for us this is really important because our plot is on a slope and so when we work um, on the slope we can adjust it so that it doesn't tip over. This is really very practical. So now let's go up and clean the top of the tree. done cleaning off the dead branches and the, the dead shoots of the tree so I shook the tree at the end you saw that that's to get the you know any debris that was falling down uh, off the branches so the tree is uh, nice and clean and now I'm ready to start cutting the tree so I will start at the top I do cutting usually a uh, top down because then you get a better overall picture and um, I was just looking here so we, we have two main shoots you can see that uh, grow up the third one, the third trunk is still down there and uh, we do not want to grow this tree any higher really than it is. Uh, you can see it has actually dried tops, I'm not quite sure why, maybe it wasn't too happy over the winter. Anyway, we're so I will cut this one here and like determine the new uh, top of the tree. I'll actually cut it here, so that's just above this last healthy branch you can see here. Um, and then on the other side, the other sides will leave a bit higher. Here's one dead one that needs to go. I do not like having the same height trunks, so I will cut this side here, probably there. This is also where the last healthy growth is. Here we go. And then this one can also go. And so now it can uh, it can grow to here and hopefully this will encourage more growth uh, down here on that empty bit here. Good, next what I will do, I mean this tree is still quite young and doesn't have that many branches yet. So I would just want to basically shorten the longer ones we have at the bottom. I think the ones up here are actually quite alright. They can still grow out and get a bit stronger because once uh, a branch is cut at the, at the front here, so at the tip, it will normally not grow any thicker. And so this is why I will leave those uh, to get stronger over the next few years. So I'll come down the ladder and we'll just have a look at these branches that grow into the pathway. The first one is this one here. So assuming that this will bend down a bit over time, I want to start uh, getting this branch a bit more uh, compact. So the growth should be mainly in this area here and not, I don't want the branch to grow out really. So what I will do, I will just cut the very tip off, um, probably there, that's it. And now, yeah, so you see it's, it grows until here and new growth hopefully should start here as well or additional growth. I'll do the same with this one here and this one I'll cut here. So that's all right. So again, you see they do not have the same length. Good, then let's have a look at this one. Um, what I do not like on branches is when you have shoots that grow up straight like this one here. This is something that is typically pruned away when you do a um, Japanese type of pruning because you want to encourage the, the cloud or pad type of growth. And so I will take this one off actually. This one here can stay for now. And here, this one really starts to grow into the pathway. So I'll take here the main shoot off about here where the branches split. And those two I leave for now. And in this pruning job, this has to be repeated at least once a year, depends on the type of tree or type of shrub. On this one, it's probably enough for this year. I never prune off too much at the same time. So I will probably come back to this next year in spring or earliest in autumn this year, we'll see. Good, then we have another one over here. 
this one here is also getting a bit too long and so I will prune this one there also where the branches split and shorten it like so. This one also has a few upright growing ones. I will prune those as well and this can stay so that's fine for now. And then we're gonna we'll have a look at the other side. I'll just remove the ladder for this. This branch here is also getting quite long so I will also cut the last bit of this one and I'm gonna cut here and this one here I mean this one is lower than this one so I want it to be longer than this one here however it is growing a bit too long and you see it's already touching the spruce there so um, we will cut this one there for now and then see how that looks in a few months or up to a year time Okay, other than that, actually, this is the third trunk. You can see here that's still very small. Uh, we let that one grow, so I'm not going to prune the tip of this one. And other than that, it looks pretty good. This one I will leave for now. And I cannot see any more that are growing upright. This little one can stay for now. Maybe they bend down. So I think that's, that's it for that tree. We're pretty much done. It's all cleaned out and uh, a little bit cut back. And the top is cut as well now i thought we could do one more little pruning job which is with the plants right here so i'll show you that as well these plants are japanese andromeda they grow a lot in in gardens in japan uh, we do have many of those in our garden they can grow quite high so to a real bush type of plant these here however we want to keep rather small so pretty much the size you see now they are growing all right where they are they do get a lot of sun here um, normally this plant prefers a more shaded or semi-shaded position um, so they do all right but they they don't look too great they could look better however uh, they're growing so that's fine we've had them in here for probably three years or something like that sometimes it happens with these japanese andromeda that a part of the plant dies off you can see here that there's an entire thicker um, branch here that died off completely. This keeps happening with these plants. I'm not quite sure why that happens. They do not have any diseases. They're quite healthy. But I made this experience over and over again with these plants. Anyway, what I will do today, I will just cut these dead bits out so these plants are cleaned out and we'll prune this long shoot over there a little bit. So for this one here, I hope I get through with these secateurs. Just, okay. So that one's gone. Cleaning them out, you know, gives them more air um, it makes them look a lot nicer to get rid of the dead stuff and it's also common in, in anyway in Japanese gardens to keep everything nice and clean. A cut I will do on this one here is cutting this back you can see this branch has quite nice growth but it grows too high we want to keep this at about this height you can see here from this branch so what I will do here I will just cut that about here and that means this is now the new highest point so this one is done I'm quite happy with this one um, I will move on to those two and clean them out the same way as I did with this one. And that's, that's all for today. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give us a like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Bye!